Hi students, this is Dr. Soundarya here. I am here to explain you 17 CV 61 Construction Management and Entrepreneurships Module number 3. The topic for today's discussion is Profession, Professional and Professionalism. Now let us move on to the video. The topic for this video is Profession, Professional and Professionalism. What is a profession? You cannot call all jobs as profession. Being an engineer and being a watchman or being a clerk, all these are all not the same. Why is it different? That's what we get to understand from this lecture series. So profession, a job which requires advanced expertise. So expertise is nothing but the skills and knowledge. Self-regulation and having a motive to do good to the society is termed as a profession. So the term profession can be applied to some jobs which meet special criteria. So the three criteria are knowledge, organization and public good. Knowledge. It requires extensive formal education, technical knowledge and continuing of education is a must here. If you take engineers and doctors, they keep continuing their education once they even graduate from their colleges. But that's not the same with a watchman or a clerk. Why? Because they don't require on the first place of formal education and secondly they don't require continuing of education. So that's why they are not professions, they are just jobs but engineers and doctors are professionals. The next one is organization. Special societies and organizations controlled by the members of professional play set standards for admission of people into their profession. So we can call IST and IEEE as examples for these types of organization. Number three, public good. An occupation which does work for the public good is termed as a profession. So for example, a doctor. A doctor helps in healing people. Civil engineer, he constructs roads and dams. And these are all, people do it for the good of the public. That's why these are called professionals. Who is a professional? A professional is someone who is a member of a profession. A person who does a job which requires expertise, skills, self-regulation and results for the good of the society is termed as a professional. What are the characteristics of a professional? A professional is intellectually trained. He possesses professional skill and knowledge skills that can keep the society's well-being, they have a degree of autonomy in the workplace, they are regulated by ethical standards, please note it's not moral standards, they are regulated by ethical standards and number six they are self-regulated too. What is professionalism? It means a professional has two obligations, one is for the employer and the other is for the public. So what are the motives for professionalism? A desire to take up interesting and challenging work and obtaining pleasure in the act of changing the world is the first motive. To get joy out of creating something, a professional gets joy by creating something out of his knowledge. Engineers tries to understand the laws of nature and riddles of the universe just like any scientist would do. The beauty of nature leads an engineer to build ships, bridges, tunnels, etc. which will appeal to the human passion. The pleasure of being able to control machines would generate comfort to the human beings. And last but not least, a strong sense of helping drives a profession. So if you see the motives, nowhere we talk about money. So doing a professional degree course is not for the sake of getting a job and getting well placed and making a lot of money. A professional is a person who does something good for the society through the skills that he has obtained. When you do it, that person exhibits professionalism. What are the professional roles to be played by an engineer? An engineer doesn't become an engineer for the sake of just minting money. So what are his roles? If you take up engineering as your course, then you will have to behave like a savior, a guardian, a bureaucrat, a social enabler and catalyst, and also as a game player. So what are these terms? Let us take a brief view. 
Savior Technology and engineers hold the key to the society. Engineer acts as a savior to save the society from poverty, illiteracy, wastage, inefficiency, ill health, human dignity and leading to prosperity. The second role played by an engineer is the guardian. Engineers guards the interest of the poor and general public. Only engineers will know with which speed should technology improve and in which direction. The next role played by an engineer is bureaucrat. He holds shares in huge corporations and acts as both employer and an employee. He applies his knowledge for the society's benefit. The next role is social enabler and catalyst. His role doesn't stop with just carrying out instructions. He anticipates changes in the society and takes up timely action. The fifth role played by an engineer is the game player. When I say game player here, it's the game of economics. Any country's economic progress is determined by the quality of its engineers. Hence, if you are taking up engineering as your professional course, then please train your mind to be all these five. You will have to play all these five roles in your life forever if you're taking up engineering as your degree course. I hope you understood the terms profession, professional and professionalism. Thank you for watching the video.